would be victorious in an epic battle between the America's stealth fighter jet F-22 Raptor and Russia's first stealth jet Sukhoi Su-57. It's a tough call since both fifth-generation aircraft have so much in common. Everything about the Su-57 suggests that it is similar in concept to F-22 Raptor, being optimized as a fast, high-flying and stealth fighter jet. While the Raptor might be holding a better hand when it comes to stealth, the Russians have the edge in maneuverability. Su-57 is equipped with three-dimensional thrust vectoring having significant edge in terms of agility. Don't forget to subscribe and enable notifications so you can see more videos like this one. Number 1. Stealth was a foundational feature of the F-22 and the plane's design maximized sensor evasion with diamond-shaped wings and sharp faceted surfaces. The speed brake, weapon bay doors and engine exhausts are designed to minimize the aircraft's radar signature while the large vertical canted tails reduce the fighter's infrared signature from certain angles. The aircraft's metallic surface is also coated with radar absorbent materials and paint. The F-22 has a RCS of less than 0.0001 square meter literally like a marble in the sky. It's pretty much undetectable from any useful range. The US also have significant experience of designing and operating stealth aircraft from decades. On the other hand, the Su-57's design places far less emphasis on all aspect low observables. Instead, it focuses on frontal aspect stealth. Thus it has a so-called Pac-Man signature whereas the F-22's signature looks more like a spider if one were to look at it from a bird's eye view. Su-57 is mainly stealthy only from the front while having relatively high radar cross-section from several other sides. Those 3D thrust vectoring nozzles at back severely increases its RCS. The Su-57 can be quite easily detected from sides and rear end by F-22. Su-57's stealth shows RCS of 0.1 to 1 square meter. It also has much higher infrared signature. In terms of RCS signature, Su-57 is only slightly stealthier than Eurofighter Typhoons and F-A-18 Super Hornets. Both fighter jets greatly differs when it comes to stealth and the comparison is not in the Su-57's favor. Number 2. The F-22 Raptor is the most maneuverable fighter the US has ever made. The Raptor uses two-dimensional vector thrust jets which can only go up and down in unison. This is still quite awesome as the Raptor is the only US fighter that is super maneuverable. But it's not the equal of the Su-57's agility. On the other hand, Su-57 is even more maneuverable. The Russian fighter uses three-dimensional thrust vector jets. Its engine nozzles can literally tilt independently in any direction to assist it in executing maneuvers. These jets assist it in yours as well as changing pitch permitting very high angles of attack. Which means the jet's nose is pointed in a different direction than the vector of the plane. Both aircraft are highly maneuverable. However, Su-57 advantage would be 3D thrust vectors giving it better performance in low axis. Whereas F-22's 2D thrust vectors and larger control surfaces will give it better performance in pitch axis. Number 3. The F-22 is powered by a pair of F-119 afterburning turbofan engines that produces a total 70,000 pounds of thrust. The engines allow the Raptor to supercruise at Mach 1.82 without afterburners, enhancing the aircraft's range. With two external wing tanks adding to its 26,000 pound fuel capacity, the F-22 can fly 1,840 miles, with a maximum combat radius of 529 miles using supercruise. The Raptor has a top speed in excess of 1,500 miles per hour with service ceiling how high the aircraft can fly and be fully operational is 20,000 meters. A major driver of the Su-57's performance is its two engines. The engines are capable of generating around 71,000 pounds of thrust. These are meant to drive the fighter to maximum speed of up to Mach 1.8 in supercruise mode. 
Unfortunately the engines are undergoing difficulties and as a result the first 12 of Russia's new jets will be powered by a pair of Saturn afterburning turbofans producing a combined 65,000 pounds of thrust, which are the same engines that power the Su-35. The range of the jet is 2,175 miles with a top speed of 1,320 miles per hour. The fighter jet has the service ceiling of 20,000 meters at the sea level. For the Russian jets to effectively take on F-22, it would need the engines that maximize the design philosophies it was intended for. If Russian resolve the engine problems then this fight won't be a crushing defeat for one side, but rather it would be a dogfight for the ages to come. Number 4. The F-22 and the Su-57 both have active electronically scanned array radars which are stealthy and more resistant to jamming and boast higher fidelity. The F-22 and Su-57 will be able to detect each other as they close within 50 kilometers, however which one first is a subject of debate. In order to detect stealth jets, the Su-57 also have a modern infrared search and track system with a 50 km range. The Raptor's engine's nozzles are designed to reduce heat signature, diminishing detection range, while the Su-57 engine's nozzles are comparatively less stealthy. The Russian jet is also equipped with L-band radars in its wings which theoretically would be effective in determining the general position of the Raptor. However, their range is fairly limited and they are not precise enough to lock on weapons. The F-22's radar is designed to outrange enemy threats, detecting and classifying them before they detect the Raptor, allowing the American jet to not only see first, but shoot first. Overall, the Raptor have a better avionics and radar systems because of superior computing technology. The Raptor will probably have an advantage in other areas as well such as network-enabled operations, data fusion and electronic warfare. Number 5. The Raptor has three weapons bays. One of which can carry one Sidewinder missile. The second bay can accommodate six Amram missiles with a range of up to 112 miles. The center bay can also carry JDAM satellite guided missiles or up to 26,000 pounds fuel. The Raptor has a 6-barreled, 20mm Gatling gun in the right wing with 480 rounds. On the other hand, the Russian jet has two large internal weapons bays, taking up virtually the entire length of the aircraft. Each bay can carry up to four beyond visual range radar guided missiles with ranges up to 100 miles. The aircraft also stores a pair of short-range infrared guided missiles in underwing fairings. Both planes carry long-range radar-guided missiles of comparable effectiveness. Russia has its cutting-edge K-77M missiles with a reported range of 122 miles, and the United States has the Amram Scorpion with a range in excess of 112 miles. The bottom line is that both cutting-edge aircraft have advantages over each other and could come out victorious on any day. However, much will depend on the battle specifics than anything else. So what do you think that which fighter jet is better? America's F-22 Raptor or Russia's Su-57? Let us know in the comments section. Also be sure to check out our other military videos. Thanks for watching and as always don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you next time.